There are so many do's and don'ts when it comes to presenting or giving a speech and most of you have probably already done a presentation at some point in your life. So you figured out the more obvious don'ts like don't fidget, don't stare at the floor, don't put your hands in your pockets, don't use ums, uhs and likes. Do like this video, that's a like you should use. So today I want to make it a point to focus on the most impactful and game-changing do's and don'ts when it comes to giving a presentation or a speech. And for those of you who'll stick around with me until the end, I'll add an extra bonus. The number one do that cannot be emphasized enough is do prepare and practice before your talk or presentation. If you want to give one of those effortless looking, smooth, TED Talk-like speeches, then no, there's hundreds of hours that went into preparing that, and not just from one person, but from teams of people to make it look just that effortless. So be willing to put the time into your talk. Number two, connect with your audience. Connect with your audience in every way possible whether it's from sharing a relatable story to making eye contact. That's right, I see you. One of the best rules for eye contact that I found is find several people in the foreground, middle ground and background, or if it's a smaller room or like a U table, find several people that you will connect with and then share one thought or sentence per person. And once you're done sharing that one sentence or thought, then you blink and you move on to the next and so on and so on. This way everyone feels included and your presentation is going to be looking smooth. Number three, big massive don't. Do not waste people's time. Be mindful and respectful of your audience's time. Say you have 20 minutes to fill for a presentation. Don't just ramble on to fill the time and space or spread one point really thin and keep repeating just one point over and over again. No, share something valuable for the full duration of your talk or presentation because your audience is giving you their most valuable asset, which is their time. So make sure you're giving them something valuable in return for it because the last thing that you want to happen is people leaving your presentation saying wow that was a massive waste of time so be mindful of other people's time and share valuable information number four have a CTA or a call to action that's basically what do you expect people to do after they've listened to your talk or presentation do you want them to simply reflect upon the information you gave them do you want them to purchase a product or in my case I would like you to subscribe I've produced a lot of infomercials, so there we try to include as many CTAs as possible. We pretty much put them every 30 seconds, maybe one minute, sometimes every two minutes, but usually between 30 seconds and one minute. Now that's a little bit too much for a talk or presentation, but the point is that you want to have call to actions in your presentation or talk, because that's essentially how you're going to connect long term with your audience. So have you subscribed yet? Number five. Don't be boring, or should I say, be entertaining. You know how sometimes you have to be a little bit extra to get a child's attention and to keep their attention? Well, you need to be even more extra to get an adult's attention. Because unlike a child, an adult has a thousand more things going on in their mind, from what they're going to have for dinner to all the things that they forgot to do today and that they need to do tomorrow. So make sure your presentation or talk is as entertaining as possible. Many of us think about doing a power point when it comes to giving a presentation. And that's because over the years of school and university, we become so accustomed to PowerPoint presentations. Now there's nothing wrong with PowerPoint, but the dynamics of giving an entertaining and good presentations have changed so much over the years. So instead of thinking of PowerPoint next time you give a presentation or a talk, think of more of an animal circus with a one man or woman show, because that's how entertaining you need to be in order to retain your audience's attention. Number six, don't be disorganized. Make sure that your talk presentation or message has a very clear structure from start to middle ground to finish because the first impression is just as important as the last impression. It doesn't matter if you've made a great first impression if you, and then made a terrible last impression because those will cancel each other out. You want to make sure that you have a great start and a great finish in order for the audience to have a good takeaway. Now, once you figure out your structure, that brings us to point number seven, which is to test your structure. Do test it to make sure that it works. 
So often I've written infomercial scripts which were great in theory, but when you put them in practice, they were just not as strong as I wanted them to be. So make sure that your message is structured in the most impactful way possible. Last but not least, because there's also bonus coming your way. Number eight, don't forget to breathe. It's pretty straightforward considering breathing is what keeps us alive and well. However, when it comes to presenting, that's the one thing we tend to do not enough of. So unless you have a secret desire to die on stage while giving your talk or presentation, then I suggest you continue breathing regularly. So make sure you're taking regular breaths throughout your presentation and before you start your presentation. Take some very deep breaths to gather your thoughts and also to restore the confidence in your voice if you're someone who tends to get that jittery voice from being a little bit nervous or too excited about something. Deep breaths help you come across confident. And for more insider tips on public speaking and presenting, make sure you like and subscribe. So here's your bonus tip, number nine, articulate. That is so incredibly important and can't be emphasized enough because if your audience is not clear on what you're saying, you might as well not be saying anything because they can't follow. So try to express yourself as clearly and concisely as possible. These are nine do's and don'ts to keep in mind when it comes to presenting or giving a speech. And let me know in the comments below which ones are your favorite.